and once again, welcome back to Flash University. In this session, we're continuing our troubleshooting talk by taking a closer look at the trigger circuit. We'll need to begin by looking at the trigger neon on the timing and trigger board. If the neon is lit, then trigger voltage is likely present. Also, there should be an audible ticking noise in day mode and a buzzing noise in night mode. If you do not hear this audible tone, or the neon is not lit, we need to verify if trigger voltage is being supplied to the timing and trigger board and or the trigger transformer. Now place your digital voltmeter in DC voltage and test on the white blue wire found connected to J5 pin 8 of the timing and trigger board. If the voltage is approximately 100 volts DC, but the system is not operating properly, you will likely need to replace the board to resolve the trigger issue. However, if the voltage is below 100 volts DC, we'll need to take a look at the source of the trigger voltage on the T1 power transformer. Now remove the white-green wire from pin 13 and the blue wire from pin 12. Once the wires are removed, power the unit back on and test across pins 12 and 13 with your meter and AC voltage. Now check for the presence of approximately 120 volts AC. If AC voltage is within this range, then the T1 is operating correctly and you should replace the bridge rectifier and or the trigger transformer. If you're not seeing around 120 volts AC, the T1 transformer will need to be replaced. Well, that'll do it for this session. Don't forget to visit flashtechnology.com for more videos, helpful installation tips, product manuals, and more.